Unbreaking Believable. Hey everyone, Nick Brick here with a set of Unbreaking Believable builds. Sticky Plasma Grenade. Electrifying Dynamo Grenade. Brutal Spike Grenade. Explosive M9 Frag Grenades. Here are the LEGO Grenades from Halo Infinite. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more LEGO gaming builds. First up, we have the LEGO Covenant Plasma Grenade. Originally introduced all the way back in 2001 with Halo Combat Evolved, the Plasma Grenade is a hand grenade used by the Covenant. A long fuse timer is balanced out with a huge superheated plasma explosion radius and, most fun of all, the ability to stick enemies. Plus, you can do this. The LEGO Plasma Grenade is a bit of a scale down of the ones in game, with a diameter of 4 inches across. An old technique I used for a couple past builds came in handy for this grenade. Its core uses the same octahedron techniques I came up with to make the Ghost and part of the Exodus black, both from Destiny. This makes the Plasma Grenade not exactly spherical, but I like the gaps it forms between this octahedral core and the six round faces with other details. Details which include the primer on top, and some patterns made with some interesting 1x1 bits that come in LEGO DOTS packs. Seriously, I'm surprised how handy DOTS packs have been for my builds lately. Overall, the Plasma Grenade looks a lot simpler than it actually is compared with other builds in this grenade set. Coming up with spherical techniques with LEGO is equal parts fun and challenging, and the Plasma brought that challenge up a notch with its placement of detail bits. Second up, Risk of Electric Shock. We have the LEGO Dynamo Grenade. This one is new to Halo Infinite. The Dynamo Grenade causes shock damage. Chaining lightning between close enemies and having the ability to shut down vehicles, Dynamos might have a little too much power. But you don't have to worry about any of that with the LEGO version. It's entirely made out of plastic and cloth. The LEGO Dynamo Grenade is 9 inches long, and four and a half inches across at the head of the grenade. The dynamo grenade might have been the easiest of the bunch to make. Even though it has round shapes like all the other grenades in this set of builds, they're cylindrical on this one. To make it more interesting though, for the cloth wrap around the shaft, I used an official LEGO strap. Yeah, I know I use this part a lot. I like using it. It's a nice LEGO rarity. And surrounding the grenade head, I added some electricity effects going around by chaining old light blue flame pieces together. Overall, the Dynamo Grenade is the simplest of the bunch, but it was the last of these LEGO grenades I finished, so it felt good to keep it simple on the way out on the project. Third, we have the most massive and the most brutal of them all, a LEGO Brute Spike Grenade. The Spike Grenade originates from Halo 3, and is similar to the Plasma Grenade in that it sticks to enemies and vehicles, but also sticks to surfaces, making its explosive pattern for the spikes also useful for clearing out tight spaces. Like all Brute weapons, the LEGO Spike Grenade is huge, measuring 31 inches long and 12 inches across tip to tip on the larger blades on the end. Yeah, we're doing it, we're going for it. This video is following up the simplest grenade with the biggest and most complex of the collection. The spike grenade was hard to do. Though it's mostly a cylinder like the dynamo grenade, the cone-shaped transition sections took a lot of iterations to get the solutions you see. Even the wide end of the grenade has a slight taper to it. But the most fun part was definitely coming up with the different spikes the grenade launches out. All of them use this one by one gray slope that comes to a peak, perfect for making the four different spike designs appear sharp. Overall, the spike grenade is my favorite of the set of grenades. I feel like the techniques in this one could be expanded upon to make longer staff-like builds like a CTF flag or a gravity hammer. I don't know, just an idea. And finally, the fourth grenade type and something similar to modern day warfare, the M9 Fragmentation Grenade. Another classic appearing in every Halo game and the most common starting grenade, the frag is your all-rounder grenade in Halo Infinite. 
My favorite way to use them is to bounce the grenade close in front of me to shorten its fuse timer. Is it always effective? Eh. The Lego frag grenade is five and a half inches tall and three inches across. In addition to the regular frag design, prepare for bad puns, we have the pineapple grenade, seen on the Psych Apple armor piece from the Mark 7 armor core. Hardcore lore fans will notice this build is a scale down. Frags in Halo are enormous. But well, I went with the more reasonably sized frags seen on the Psych Apple armor. Clearly there's a big difference in size. What I like most with these grenades are the segmented panels on the surface, built with 2x2 two two jumper plates on the regular frag, and quarter circle tiles on the pineapple with 1x1 one one round wedged in the center. Seriously, if you're a custom LEGO builder like I am, try this technique if you can. It has a lot of potential despite being a somewhat loose connection. Overall, the frags were a ton of fun to replicate. The pineapple grenade was the first grenade of the set designed and built. As soon as I saw that in Halo Infinite, I was a little bummed 343 beat me to the pun. But I got to work right away. It's a Halo weapon, it's made with LEGO, and it's a pun. That's like my three most favorite things in the world. And here's a banana for scale. <laughs> That's funny, now I have two builds of fruit. Also for scale, especially for that spike grenade, here is a UNSC assault rifle. The trinity of weapons in Halo, guns, grenades, and melee, all need to be respected in LEGO form. So it's fun to show some love for the grenades in Halo in their blocky glory. Let me know in the comments below which LEGO grenade was your favorite, and which Halo Infinite weapons you're liking the most and want to see built with LEGO. Subscribe for more unbrickin' believable LEGO builds. Also, like, comment, and share if you enjoyed the LEGO grenades from Halo Infinite. Come on, subscribe for LEGO Craig. You wouldn't want to let LEGO Craig down, would you? <laughs>